Uncle Victor, I'm very disappointed in you. You are just looking at me like that. Eh? I asked you to give me a job. No headways. Eh? Hook me up with one of your workers. Eh? You are a HOD at a university and you have lots of young, handsome lecturers and civil servants working under you. Hook me up with one of them. You refused. Eh? Next month, I'll be 30 years old. Eh? Help me now. Listen, please, don't come and start with these your incessant complaints and lamentations every time. I am only head of department. I don't have the power to employ. And as for hooking you up, eh, you have introduced me to nothing less than seven guys as your boyfriends. Eh? Even two months ago, you made me hang out with one that you introduced to me. Eh? That boy spent over a hundred thousand naira in just one hour. Eh? What else do you want now? Uncle, please, I am not getting any younger. Hmm? See, I'm tired of all those Yahoo boys. All those boys that wear skinny trousers, tattered clothes, dreadlocks and tattoo all over their body. All those scammers. I don't want. I want legit now. Because they will spend money for you, spend money for you. At the end of the day, they will break your heart. Eh? So I don't want. I want someone legit, responsible. Someone that will be with me, be faithful to me, be true to me. Somebody I can take home to mama. Okay, Lizzie, I have heard. Uh, could you please tell me, how much is this human hair uh, that you have on your head? It's not expensive. It's just 1.2 million. <laughs> he shot you! Mama, I hear you. See my two hands up. Hmm. 1.2 million hair on your head. Yet, you do not have a job. Eh? And you want to date a civil servant. No problem. Uh, give me two days. I'll introduce you to a young man that just started working with us. Uh, he seems to be a responsible and cool-headed guy, okay? Uh, he's a good guy. I'll hook you up with him, okay? I'll invite you to my house uh, by weekend so that you both can get to know each other. So, Lizzie, I hope I will have some peace of mind now, finally, okay? Seated right beside you is Dr. Efiko, one of the most intelligent lecturers in my department you know he just recently came on board he's young he's fresh he's a bachelor he is eligible okay he knows his academics very well you can see he's carrying a bag there that bag is filled with engineering books that guy reads on the road even while he's walking <laughs> he knows his onions very well he can't break your heart it's impossible <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he's even still a virgin. Yes, he is 32 years old. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still a virgin. <laughs> so I gave you the best. Hey, Uncle Victor, God will bless you for me. Oh, hey, you are a miracle. You are the answer to my prayers. Okay, I'm looking at him and I'm even blushing. He's even shy, very quiet, very composed. I like him already. I like him already. Hey, thank you, Uncle Victor. Finally, I have a legit boyfriend. Not all those useless internet scammers. Dr. Efiko, you're not saying anything. Is it that you don't like me? Yeah, I like you already. Oh. Talk to me now. What's up? How are you doing? Ah, why won't I like you? Ah, I like you already. It's not as if I can approach a woman on my own. Now that somebody has helped me to approach a woman, do I have a choice? I must like you, and you even exceeded my expectation. You are very, very beautiful. I like you already, oh. Okay, so what do you do for fun? Do you like to club? Do you like to drink? What do you do for fun? So maybe tonight we can go clubbing, have some alcohol, go back home and probably, you know, make out and do the do or something. I don't know what you mean by do the do. Uh, as for the alcohol part, 
I am 32 years old. I do not know how alcohol tastes. Not be juju be uh, that. That do the do that you said. If it is what I'm thinking, let me quickly tell you. Me, I'm still a virgin. Ah! I don't know how to do it all. Maybe except you will be the one to, to, to teach me. As for club, the only time I went to a club was when I went to install an automatic changeover. Yes, an electrical installation was what I went to do at one club in Lagos. That's the first and last time I went to a club, and that was three years ago. As for what I do for fun, I like to go to the church in the evening time to help the music department to install the piano and the guitar. You know, I help them with instrumentation. That is what I do for fun in church. And when I'm at home, uh, the only thing I also do for fun is to solve very, very difficult quadratic equations. Advanced calculus. That is what I like to do for fun, my dear. Hmm. What kind of wahala is this? Is that fun? Going to church to connect the guitar and piano? That is what you do for fun. Hmm. Solving difficult mathematical questions. That is what you do for fun. Ask me 2 plus 2 as I'm here now. I will take 5 minutes before I give you the answer. Hmm. Seems like you're a boring person. Ha 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 Oh, Lizzie, do you still want legit? Or should I keep my mouth shut? Well, I still want him. After all, this is what I asked for. You know, a legitimate, hard-working young man who will not break my heart. So, thank you, Uncle Victor. I want him. Baby... Hmm? Dr. Efiko, you're not even romantic at all. Eh? On a cold Friday night like this, and it's raining outside, eh? you and I, we are in the room. All you have been doing since morning is solving one mathematical equation from morning till now. And when you finish solving it, you just lie down on the bed and you're staring at the ceiling. Okay, let me ask you. What was the final answer of that mathematical equation you have been solving since morning? Um, the answer was zero. I got zero. Uh, Professor Okokobioko, he thinks that because he's the dean of the faculty, that he can intimidate me with his questions. I have solved this equation, I have gotten zero as answer, and I have sent him my own question for him to solve. You be mumu. So that nonsense you have been solving since morning that has made you ignore me in bed. The answer, the final answer is what? Zero. Waste of time. Absolute zero. Eh? That WhatsApp group that you people created, eh? instead of you people to be discussing important things, you will be sending equations to each other. Mathematical challenge. Hell, please, let me remind you. I need money. Hmm? You need to buy the iPhone 14 for me now. I need it. I need to upgrade my iPhone, baby, please. Oh, sorry, my dear. Sorry, my dear. Please, how much is the phone that you say you want to buy? May God not allow them. Okay, you. the phone is just um, 1.2 million. Photo? Not be juju be that. Phone of 1.2 million? Who do you want to call? Your ancestors? Oh, I'm how can you even much. use a phone of 1.2 million? Do you know how many months salary that 1.2 million would amount to? Ah. Months of hard work. Even if I don't spend a dime from my salary, do you know how long it will take me to gather 1.2 million? If I have 1.2 million now, don't you know that my priority is to go and buy a huge plot of land in my village of Bomoso? Eh? If I have 1.2 million, will I be flying Okada and entering taxis up and down? Won't I look for one second hand car to buy? What kind of nonsense is that? 1.2 million phone. Ha ha! And I am here using a Nokia 3310. You expect me to buy phone of 1.2 million for you? Oh, they better alone. My dear Lizzie, true relationship is not a one-way traffic. One hand will have to wash the other one for both hands to be clean. 
you also have to bring something to the table. I understand that you don't have a job despite that you are a graduate. Go and learn a craft. I will pay your enrollment fee to learn a craft. After you finish learning, be it hairdressing, be it tailoring, I will personally open a shop for you so that you too will be bringing something into the relationship. Uh -huh. True relationship is a relationship where people work together. It is not a bed of roses. I don't print money. I am not a thief. I am not an internet scammer. I am just an ordinary civil servant. Oh. I have good intentions for you and I want to marry you, but you must work with me. Oh. Wait, oh. what is going on here? Am I dreaming or something? So you see a slay queen like me. You see my packaging. You see the kind of phone I'm using. You see the kind of human hair on my head. You fell in love with all those things. You think all those things come for free? Eh? You say you want to date a slave queen like me. Now when it's time to pay the bills to maintain the beauty, you're complaining. Are you, are you serious right now? You're saying that 1.2 million is too much for a phone? What my ex-boyfriend spends at a night club in one night only is what you're complaining about. Okay, the iPhone 13 I'm using. Is it not a man like you that bought it for me? Oh, I think I need to talk to Mr. Victor. I don't think this relationship is going to work at all. Like, I don't think this is going to work. Hello? The only thing you know how to solve is mathematics on paper. Mathematics on paper. Come and solve bedmatics. Bedmatics with your woman on the bed. You will refuse. You will tell me you are praying, you are fasting. Even when you manage to do two seconds, you are done. Eh? No romance, no foreplay, nothing. All you know how to do is read the Bible and solve mathematics. That is the only thing you know how to do. Okay, that is fine. I can cope with that. Pay my bills now. You're saying I should go and learn hairdressing or tailoring. I should start learning at my age. I should go back and start learning. Can you imagine asking me what I bring to the table? What table? In my past several relationships, I brought nothing to the table and all my bills were being paid. So why didn't none of them marry you? I have no words for you. Just know that this relationship is over. I'm going to meet Mr. Victor who arranged this nonsense relationship to tell him I am done. A few moments later. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is arrant nonsense. This is like the worst relationship I've ever been into. Arrant nonsense. Do you know that this Dr. Efiko, number one, he is not romantic. He is not romantic at all. I will give him sign or oh, he will not catch the drift. Even when he manages to do two seconds, he is done. Okay, okay. What about gist? He has no gist. He's either telling me about one prophet or one apostle that came to minister in church. And when he's done with that, he will start gisting me about mathematics. Telling me that calculus is very interesting to solve in the morning. This man will solve maths from morning till night and the answer will be zero. Absolutely nothing. He is so boring. He's so annoying. He doesn't take alcohol. He doesn't know how to do anything. Even to spend money on me, he cannot spend. Eh? Mr. Victor, this relationship is over. I can't cope. I have dated seven men before I met this man. None of them has asked me to bring anything to the table before. I'm not used to learning or bringing anything to the table. He's asking me to be patient with him. I am not used to being patient. I want everything fast, fast. Eh? I didn't come to this life to suffer. I'm a slave mama. That is what I want. Please, Mr. Victor. This relationship is over. If you find somebody else, please hook me up with the person. I don't want Dr. Efiko anymore. Enough of the rantings. I knew that this would happen. But if I did not hook you up at all, you would go about narrating me, saying uh, you asked a favor of me I did not do for you. Now it is on record that I hooked you up and look at the outcome. This thing that is happening to you, it also happens in the world of online investments. A lot of people who have been used to Ponzi schemes, who have the, had their hearts broken by several Ponzi schemes, 
they come to me and say, Victor Isibo, please show me something legitimate. Show me something legitimate. I ask them, are you ready for legit? They will say yes. Are you ready for a long-lasting, legitimate online opportunity? They will say yes. Are you willing to cope with the terms and conditions that comes with it? They would say yes. Any legitimate make money online opportunity requires patience because there will be days when you would lose and there will be days when you would win while you are learning. It is important also in any legitimate make money online opportunity for you to go through a learning process. It doesn't start like magic. It is only in Ponzi schemes that you are required to do absolutely nothing. Just dump your money into it, go to sleep, and alert will be waking you on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis till they eventually collapse and run away with the rest of the money. Ponzi schemes is like you dating Yahoo boys or your exes. They don't require that you do anything. They just keep dumping money on you. They keep giving you money. They don't advise you to learn or develop yourself. You know why? They know that they plan to run away from you. So why develop a girl that you intend to abandon? But legitimate make money online opportunities, just like legitimate men, they try to develop their women or investors. They try to teach their investors what they need to know. They try to instill patience into their investors and their women because they know that they are going to be in their lives for the long term. So the choice is yours. I don't like when people come into legitimate businesses with the Ponzi scam mentality. It does not all go well. Just like you went into this relationship with the Yahoo boy mentality. It's not going to work. So the choice is yours. Do you want to learn and be patient? Or do you want to go back to where your heart keeps getting broken every time? Lizzie. The choice is yours.